We have one other chat um, in Todd Dudley who says, hi, I had a commercial broker who has someone else's listing that is a nine unit building in Euclid, Ohio, but will not give out the address until I sign a broker's agreement with him <coughs> where he gets 3% either from me or the seller. Is this normal? <laughs> Well, you know, if you get any leads from an agent, that, and one question I would ask is, is this a listed property or not? But I don't care. I'm happy to have that broker make up to a 3% commission. And uh, so that's what I'm looking at. Of course, I'm going to factor that into my purchase of a property for sure. Todd says it's not listed. Not listed. And is this person a broker or a licensed agent? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I would sign that time uh, and let, let them make their money. Because like I said, you're going to go make that presentation to the seller with the agent there. And if, the, and you know, if the agent's about to make a commission, they're going to be your rah, rah person. They're going to be the person to, encourage the seller to do it right and i would i would uh, like to add one thing here do not sign a buyer's agent agreement with any realtor or broker that is open-ended in other words make it specific to a property because otherwise they are going to say well you owe me a commission because you went over there and bought one, two, three Main Street. That's good advice, Bruce. Very good. I'm with, I'm with Bruce. I had the same thing happen to me where we just had a, a, an agreement and they said, well, even if I bought a house, didn't go through them, that listing agreement uh, would be, I'd owe them commission if I found the house. I said, that won't work for me. Oh, not. That's ridiculous. That makes no sense at all.